Hello, and welcome to episode 10 of the Shoe Cabinet TV from Elias Shoes here in beautiful Southern California. So actually this episode is going to be a continuation from episode nine. And I wanna thank all those who reached out to me and had questions and that's what this is about, is you reaching out and my ability to answer some of the questions that you may have. So one of the questions from a viewer was a particularly about uh, what would be a good name brand to wear for sandal season. Well, there's, here's the answer. So there's lots and lots of good brands out there, but there's also some brands that are not so good. So what I'm gonna talk about is more of what to look for in the style of shoe that would be appropriate. So it's more about the style, and I know the last episode on episode nine, I mentioned that you needed to have arch support and a heel cup. So here's a Birkenstock. Um, this one happens to be a vegan shoe. So I know there's quite a few vegans out there. So we do carry vegan shoes here at Elias Shoes. But this one in particular, and again, I'm gonna talk more about what you need to look for in a shoe versus a particular brand. Because within each brand, there are some shoes that have more arch and are a better fit for sandals that uh, the healthcare professionals prefer to have people in. And there are shoes, even though they may be a name brand, that may not be the best for your feet. So Birkenstock, this one's probably an exception. They're just an amazing product. Why? You can see it has a nice arch built in, nice heel cup. So again, arch support and a heel cup the reason being is when you walk, your arch is held, so you can't roll over. Nice heel cups so that when your foot, your uh, heel bone is in there, your heel bone isn't moving around. So to answer that one viewer's guess, it is to have a shoe with an arch and a heel cup. So now I'm gonna talk more about different styles. And again, all of them consistent the same. This one is by Abeo. It's a nice, cute little espadrille. What's really interesting is that you may not visually be able to see the arch support and the heel cup because they've done it internal, but as soon as you put the shoe on, you feel the arch. The shoe sinks down a little bit in the heel, so it's kind of like a secret heel cup back there so that your heel doesn't slide off the back of the shoe. So great product by Abeo. Here, this shoe by Abeo also, Lots of adjustability, but this one you can actually visually see more of the arch and you can actually see the heel cup. So this is a great, great new fun color that they've added for this season, the red. Again, lots of adjustability, both at around the ankle and at the forefoot. So this one again, you can visually see the arch, you can see the heel cup. Here's another great product. This is by Naot. Um, again, it has the arch support and the heel cup. So again, I know it sounds redundant, but when you look for a sandal, all of them have a different look, but you want the consistency of having an arch support and a heel cup so that your foot doesn't slide. So we're gonna talk about, oh, here's another great product. I know I mentioned this last time, this is for Vionic. Um, a lot of podiatrists recommend this product in particular for people who may have a lot of heel pain because you can see there's the arch support, there's the heel cup. So this is another product, again, that's a really great shoe, stylish so you can wear it with a skirt or espadrilles when it's a little warmer outside. Um, here's another product, this one also. This shoe is made by Abeo, really fun. Um, and again, you can see arch support, heel cup. I know I'm sounding over and over, but this is what you need to look for when you're looking for your summer sandals. Here's a great product by Taos. A little asymmetrical, all leather wrap, gives you some nice support around your toes. Heel cup, again, I don't know if you can see it because it's covered by the leather, but a nice arch support. Another great shoe. Um, here's another one also by Taos, and you can visually see how it has a really nice arch support, and again, a nice heel cup. 
Uh, just for those to let you know, we do carry some larger sizes in the store. Um, I can go up to a women's 13, which Euro sizing is a 43 or 44. So I do carry larger sizes in the store, so you don't have to special order. Uh, this is another product. This is made out of Portugal. You can also see nice arch support, heel cup, so that way your foot doesn't slide around when you're walking. And this one actually has a nice, where the toe comes up, because when you're walking, it gives you uh, easier range of motion and less leg fatigue. So when you look for a shoe, having the toe come up a little bit, especially on a higher wedge, it's an easier shoe to walk in. Something else that some people asked me about was what I had mentioned about our affection at the toe grip, the death grip. So when you have that going on and you're wearing a thong, the, the, this little part that goes between your toes, if you have, I think you can see this on the video, there's this little raised bump right there. That actually helps so that when you're walking, you're not gonna do this. It has a little bit of support right there behind the toes, and it allows your toes to feel that they're secure and stable, so that when you are walking, and again, arch, heel cup, but this will also help to relax the toes so that your, to your feet don't feel like the shoe's gonna get kicked off. If you still feel like that, even with that, I highly, highly would recommend then doing a back strap. So here again, this is another product by Taos. And again, you can see the arch support, and then you can see the heel cup. So there's a consistent theme here. Here's a sandal by New Balance. Really cute, nice and adjustable. And you can see the heel cup and the arch support. Oh, here's a great one. Really fashion, nice uh, rubber bottom so it doesn't make a lot of noise, cork, adjustability, and again, I know I'm sounding redundant, so arch support, heel cup. So I think you guys are getting the, the idea of um, arch support and heel cup. Um, and then another question that was asked about sandal season, um, being a little more dressy, but still being open toe, is having a little bit of a chunkier heel for stability. So here's a great product where it's a little chunkier so that way you don't have to worry about your heel going like this because you have nice stability there. Nice bend at the forefoot, no bend across the mid part of your foot. And again, arch support and even this has a heel cup. This one's a great little shoe because we can open it up on the top. So days that you need a little more room, we can open it up on days that you want uh, to tighten it up a little bit, you can. And then also here at Elias Shoes, we also have items. This is a great little sandal. It does have arch support and heel cup, but sometimes people get orthotics or they have a special need and they have a custom insert. Well, this shoe, and it's a sandal, because I know that's something that a lot of people have frustration when they have a custom orthotic, is I can actually, it's really in there pretty good. Uh, I can actually remove this insert completely out of the shoe and we can accommodate and put your custom orthotic inside the shoe. So I have quite a few options with a sandal where if you do have a custom orthotic that the doctor does recommend that you have in your shoes, we can actually put them in a sandal, which I know is kind of refreshing and new because most people think that they're stuck in a tennis shoe when in reality, I can actually put you in a nicer shoe, even a dress shoe. Um, here's another really nice looking shoe. And again, I know I'm gonna sound redundant, arch support and heel cut. So to wrap it up, for your summer sandal season, things that you need to look for are arch support and heel cup. So it may not necessarily be the brand in particular, it's more that the shoe has the arch support and the heel cup so that when you're walking, your arch is held up and the back of your foot doesn't slide around. It's actually protected and stays in one place so that when you're walking, 
you're being supported and it'll actually help you with leg fatigue at the end of the day. So those are some questions that I know um, some of you had asked and again this is part is for your education and your information so come by stop at the store leave me a message don't hesitate to call just reach out to me and episode number 11 will be dependent upon what my questions are that I receive from you guys. So I hope you have a wonderful evening and I look forward to seeing you in episode 11 here at Shoe Cabinet TV by Elias Shoes. Thank you.